So M. Night Shyamalan is back once again to give us another movie. The question is, is this a return to form for him? Or is it just another dud in M. Night Shyamalan's collection? Let's talk about it. Split. So Split is the newest film directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and this one stars Anya Taylor-Joy, James McAvoy, and Betty Buckley, and basically what it is is James McAvoy's character, Kevin, has 23 personalities, and he kidnaps these three girls, one of which is played by Anya Taylor-Joy, and he holds them captive, I guess that's the best way to describe it without totally spoiling the film. And the three girls, they have to find out how they can escape from this guy before he kills him. Alright, so let's talk about Split. Okay, so M. Night Shyamalan, when it comes to his movies, there's only three that I like. There's The Sixth Sense, there's Unbreakable, and there's Signs. Will Split be the fourth? that I like? Well, I will say this. It is his best film since Signs, by far. It is definitely his best films since Signs. And I gotta say, yeah, I did kind of enjoy it. I'll admit, I went into this film not expecting much because I hate the guy. Like, I cannot stand his films. Everything except for Signs, Unbreakable, and The Sixth Sense. Literally all of his films, I've given either a D or an F to. But I'm happy to say that Split is definitely a vast improvement over his last few films. First off, James McAvoy. This guy is phenomenal in this movie. He really is. He basically carries the movie from start to finish. And I'm just going to say it right now. If this actually had come out in December 2016, I'd say maybe consider this guy for an award. He's basically... This year's John Goodman from 10 Cloverfield Lane. If you, In case you don't know what I'm talking about, John Goodman. He was considered the first Oscar-worthy performance of 2016. I could pretty much say, say the same thing about James McAvoy. He's awesome in this movie. He really is. Anya Taylor-Joy. Now, The Witch, I didn't like. And the reason I didn't like it is because it was so boring, and I thought Anya Taylor-Joy's performance was so pretentious. I mean, she wasn't bad in the movie, she was kind of pretentious, but here, much better. Much better from her. Especially toward the second and third acts. The first act is kind of a little, eh, I'll get to that more in my flossom section, but... Yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's a lot better than in The Witch, for sure. And I was actually kind of invested in her character, at least once the second act came around. Again, I'll get to the first act later, but the second act... And the third act especially. Wow. That that looked more like Unbreakable. Kind of a combination of Unbreakable and The Sixth Sense in a way. Again, I'm trying not to give away any spoilers because I know there's people that haven't seen the movie and they still want to see it. But yeah, for the most part, I, I like the performances in this movie. Betty Buckley was also really good. And the suspense, this is a suspense thriller. I thought the suspense was good for the most part. You have... The, you have the 23 personalities, each personality changes. We don't get to see all 23, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer, but we do get to see a lot of them, and for the most part, it's, it's, really, it's really interesting. And James McAvoy, he's got some funny scenes in there. There's one scene around the one hour mark. A few people I know hated this scene. I was dying laughing because of how over the top and absurd it was. But yeah, I was dying laughing. And M. Night actually added some good humor into this, into this movie. That scene being one of them. And again, I thought the suspense was really good. The uh, musical score I thought was really good as well. Definitely much better than The Visit, which had no score at all. Yeah, don't I don't get that at all. The Visit, eh, eh, just eh. But yeah, we're talking about Split right now, so... Yeah. 
I like the performances. I like the plot and where it was going. I thought it was a really interesting premise. And the way this movie ends, again, no spoilers, but it took me by surprise. It really did. I thought it was a really cool twist. And there are a couple other cool twists in here, too. One of which I thought was very predictable, but I'll get to that in my flossums. But the end, the last five minutes of this movie, awesome. As much as I enjoyed Split, I have to say there are some flaws with it. Some really major ones, too. First off, the other two girls, besides Anya Taylor-Joy. Useless. Useless. Did not care at all about them. The first act, Anya Taylor Joy's character was kind of, kind of sad and depressing as well. Again, she picks up in the second act, but for the first act, it was kind of sad. It was just depressing. That's really all I can say about it. And the first act as a whole is kind of slow. This movie is kind of a slow-paced movie. And I mean, slow pacing is usually not all bad, but I mean, M Night just just leave the slow pace stuff to Denis, Vill or Denis Villeneuve, okay? Denis Villeneuve knows how to use slow pacing really well. M. Night, you're not quite at that level yet. So, just stick to the fast-paced stuff like you see in Unbreakable and Signs and The Sixth Sense. But yeah, and again, I did say this was the best movie Shyamalan's made since Signs. Unfortunately, that's not saying a whole lot, considering... I hated every one of his other films with a passion. But yes. And there are some various plot holes in the movie that I didn't understand. Like these flashbacks. It flashes back several times and I just didn't get why they were there. Like why were they in the movie? Why was it necessary? There's one other scene like about 10 minutes before the one hour mark where it was like awkward I was just like wait why is that in the movie this is awkward <laughs> but yeah and like the like toward the end of the third act there are some things that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me again plot holes this movie has a lot of them and it has a lot of cliches as well there are some things that I saw in the movie 10 Cloverfield Lane that I saw that reappeared in this movie I was like Okay, come on, let's not get into that territory. And the cinematography, I'm sorry, I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. I thought, like, you see, there are several shots where Anya Taylor-Joy's face is, like, that close to the camera. Not even kidding. And it just got really distracting at some points. So, yeah, not a fan of the cinematography. And, again, some things didn't make sense. That's really all I have to say about that. So, as a whole, did I enjoy Split? Yes, I did. I will admit, Split did surprise me. Is it a great movie? No, not really. I think it's kind of, it's kind of more in the middle. I guess you could say I'm Split on Split. Yeah, but overall, I will say it's not quite a full return to form for M. Night Shyamalan, but it is definitely a step up from his other films. Definitely a step up. And Anya Taylor-Joy, I think she could be a rising star. She could have a great future ahead of her. So yeah, while it's not quite a return to form, it's definitely a step up. With that being said, I am going to give Split a... 64% fresh rating. I'm just going to get it to fresh. That is a B- minus on my scale. Good step up for you, Shyamalan. Good step up. Alright, so that is it for my review of Split. What did you guys think about it? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews to come. And until next time, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to stay California cool, everyone. Peace out.